Hello everybody, I hope you're all safe and well and survived the snow. It's been a bit like living in a snow globe for the last week here in Birmingham, but it's all starting to thaw now. So hopefully things can go back to normality and the country can start functioning again. This is a really exciting week in the LAB calendar. I am vlogging at Geneva Motor Show this week. Ah, so exciting. I've never even been to Geneva Motor Show, let alone vlogged at it. It's the biggest motor show in the world. It's the hub of all things motor and auto sport, and I'm just so excited about going. And then later on in the week, it's the legal awards, which as you know, I'm up for an award and I've never been nominated for an award for anything ever, I don't think. So this is really, really exciting. I am just doing a little bit of packing at the moment because I've got such a busy week ahead and I'm going down to Heathrow because I'm flying from London. So I'm just doing a bit of packing now and trying to sort myself out for this immensely busy week. So cars that I'm looking forward to seeing at Geneva, there's loads of different cars at Geneva and there will probably be a few exclusives as well, unveilings of cars that no one has ever seen before. So hopefully I'll get a few good shots for you so that you are in the know ahead of the year ahead. Um, things that I know about that I want to see are the new Toyota Supra. That might not sound very exciting, but I'm a big Toyota fan. I own a Toyota, I've had mine for the last five years and I absolutely love it. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe I might be in the market for a new one sometime soon. So I'm going to go down and have a little nosy at the new Supra and see what the deal is, see what it looks like and hopefully have a chat to Toyota as well about when it might be coming out and how much it might be. So that is the first thing I want to look at. The second thing I want to look at is the new Lamborghini Urus. So this is like a super glam 4x4. In fact, we could maybe call it the Glamborghini. I'm not sure how happy they'll be with that reference, but it looks incredible, ridiculously expensive, and I'm sure it's really overhyped, but there's been so much chat about it, I really wanna go along and just have a look at it. On the subject of four by fours, I also want to look at the Bentley Bentayga, which is their SUV as well, another super glamorous one, which just looks amazing, and I've heard lots about it, so I wanna go and scope it out. Uh, what else? The new Aston Martin Vantage. If you're familiar with Aston Martin, but you're not familiar with the new Vantage, have a look. It is totally revamped from the normal Aston Martin style. I've always kind of thought of Aston Martin as a little bit old man style, a little bit too conservative and not really out there enough. But the new Vantage is a totally futuristic Aston Martin concept. So I really want to go and have a look and see what this new revamped image is like for Aston Martin. I'm sure there will be loads of other cars there, but just those are the ones that I really want to go and film and have a chat with the designers about. What else then? So really, I'm just doing a bit of packing at the moment, as I said, and I I'm really, really struggling with what to wear. I have no idea what people wear to Geneva Motor Show. I've never been to anything like this before, apart from pretty low key car shows around the country. So I'm really struggling. I wear heels everywhere, just as a matter of course, but I am deeply concerned that being in my heels for potentially six hours running around a massive exhibition center is gonna be more than my feet can take. But I put my trusty Valentinos in because they are the comfiest heels that I own. Um, and I've also put a backup pair of trainers in, just in case. I will show you what I've packed at the moment to see whether you agree with my packing and <laughs> hopefully you will see in the actual Geneva video what I ended up wearing. So this is what my suitcase looks like currently. Trusty Valentinos, as I said, and my backup Balenciaga trainers. I still have no idea what to wear, so I've put in a trusty silk Fred jumpsuit as well, which you've probably seen in one of my other videos, and uh, a pair of jeans which I picked up from the Outnet, which arrived a couple of days ago, which I am super excited about wearing. They're an absolute bargain from Balmain, and they fit like a dream, so hopefully I will get to wear them. And then just my IKKS jumper, which I wore in my last law vlog. So that's what I've packed at the moment. Things could change. I have no idea if I get some further advice on what I should be wearing to this. I feel like I want to look quite glam because I've never been to anything like this before, but equally I want to look serious about my cars. So we will see what I end up wearing. That is just about all for this video. This is just a short one as a bit of an intro to my week this week because I am hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna get the Geneva video up sometime during the course of this week. So stay tuned if you want to see what happened in Geneva and then we will be back to law next week. Also keep posted on my social media if you want to see what happens in Geneva and what happens at the Legal Awards. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.